we now have a basic floor plan and it's time to start adding gaps, doors, windows and openings. So we're going to go to the second tab called gaps and we see four different categories, doors, industrial doors, openings and windows. We're going to start by clicking on doors and we see a list of different icons here, thumbnails of doors that we can select to add to our floor plan. To add a door, you simply left mouse click and the blue activation color comes up. So I've selected this double door. Then I move into the floor plan wherever I would like to add a door over a wall. So I place my mouse over this wall and double click and the door will appear. If I would like to add a second door of the same type, I simply move to somewhere else in the floor plan, place my mouse over a wall and double click. If I want, I can double click again and it will change its, the way it opens. So now it opens outwards. If we move back down here again, if you hold down the left mouse button over the gap and move your mouse, then you can slide it along the wall. And you see how the measurements follow as well, the distance to the wall. Then when it's active like this, you'll see a gap property menu appear on the right side. Here we can change its dimensions, such as width, height, and altitude. So we'll maybe change the door width to 1.8 and maybe the height to 2 meters. If we go all the way down here, we see the door materials. So I can pick color. I can choose images, meaning I can paste one of my own local images onto the door. Could be a JPEG image or a bitmap. So, if you would like a certain steel door texture, you can use an image and place which and paste it onto the gap automatically. You can also select one of the default materials that we have here, and there are a number of different wood textures that we can add to the door. So, let's use a beach wood door in this case. When I select a color change, it will ask if I want to make the change to all objects of the same line. So if we had a number of different doors of the same type, as we do in this case, we have two, I can change both doors of the same line to that beach color. If I say no, it would only change the one that I've selected. But let's say yes. There we go. The two doors with beach texture to it. We'll close the 3D again. We'll go backwards. And we'll do the next library. Let's do an industrial door. Select one of the doors and we'll move over here. And let's add a door over here and another industrial door over here. And same thing, if you click on it, then you have the option to change its properties. Or in this case, add a color to it. Let's add a red color to the door and change both industrial doors, yes. If we go in again and do a top view, I'll zoom up, you'll see that both are now red. We'll close. If we take a step backwards again, we have openings and windows. Let's do openings. Openings basically lets you create a hole in one of the walls. So we'll select that, double click on the wall where I want it to be. I can slide it along the wall or select it and change. In this case, let's make it four meters wide and three meters high. So if we go in again, you'll see that we created a big hole in over here in the wall right there. And like I mentioned before, we're going to come back to the navigation aspects. I'm just showing you how now to create the certain gaps that are available. We'll take a step backwards using the arrow here and finally do windows. We'll move up and select one of the windows, double click on the wall, click again to make the dimension the way I want it to be, four meters maybe in this case and one meter high windows. Altitude we're going to use this time. We're going to send this window up three meters on the wall. That's the altitude. And what I'd like to show you also here, and this feature is available on all the gaps, it's the duplicate tool right here. You'll see 
that there is a blue and a black arrow and a blue and a black arrow on the gap that's currently activated. And I can copy the same window, the same dimensions, the same settings at a certain distance to the left or right. So if I want to copy to the right, you see it's a black arrow and we have a black arrow here and the distance one meter. Let's keep make the distance 0 0.4 and we're going to click on the black arrow. You'll see another gap appears four decimeters apart. If I do it again, we have a third gap or a third window four decimeters apart. You can of course just move it any way you would like afterwards or do the undo and bring it back to four decimeters. If you click on the 3D button again, enter 3D, you'll see that we now have the three windows in place right there. Four decimeters apart in this case. So that was our very basic introduction to how you use the gaps.